everybody, welcome to the Up at Noon edition of Hot Pepper Game Reviews. I'm Greg Miller and today I'm going to be reviewing Batman Arkham Origins by WB Montreal. But first, I'm going to eat a Thai chili pepper. Well actually, to make it incredibly hot, I'm going to eat three Thai chili peppers. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. So Batman Arkham Origins. <laughs> See the thing about it, right, is that it's a prequel to the Arkham games we already know. Of course it being Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City. But uh, what, the real thing, right, the real draw to this is that it's a prequel and it's set five years before Arkham Asylum. Um, but it's two years into being Batman, being the Batman. So, he's still Batman. <laughs> and so, should have written more of this down. <laughs> uh, so finally, Black Mask and stuff. He's all like, whoa, Batman. No more. I've had enough of you. So he decides he's gonna hire. <laughs> he assassins. But he's, he brings him in and says he's got a bounty of $50 million. It's getting hotter. $50 million on the bounty on Batman and Bat's head. One night to kill a Batman. And they choose, they choose to kill him. They choose to kill him on uh, Christmas Eve. It was like a real dick move, but they bring him in and Batman's gotta fight him all eventually, kind of, but he's gotta find him in different places because they're running around <laughs> Gotham City. But like, here's where the game, like, the story is awesome. The story is great. Like, it's a really a well-told Batman story. That's why it speaks so on well. WB Montreal. They, they get a bad rap because like they're not rock steady the people who did the other games. But uh, they do a good job here telling a Batman story. It's a really good Batman story. So the story is top notch, and that's why like you should care about Batman and <laughs> Arkham Origins. But then you get to gameplay, right? Now the gameplay is not as tight as Rock City games. That's one of the problems, right? For some reason, reversing is harder to do. You're getting hit more times. They introduce a couple of new uh, like types to fight, and like the brawl. You saw the thugs, right? They're still wearing masks. I mean, stupid. <sighs> but there's a lot of spit in my mouth. <laughs> But like just in general, not as tight, and then you know, it's whatever. But when you talk about what makes the Batman Arkham Origins gameplay really good, right? The boss fights. The boss fights are really, really cool. Um, and anybody who says they aren't cool, they don't know these characters, they suck. Right, you gotta talk about Deathstroke right away, right? Deathstroke is finally a, he's finally <laughs> Deathstroke's finally the bat no. <laughs> Deathstroke. <laughs> Deathstroke is finally the Deathstroke we've all been waiting for in video game form. It's, it's a tough fight, it's crazy, they're reversing back and forth, the Deathstroke looks like a badass, you gotta love it. But a lot of big problems with this game were the technical problems people had with it. People falling through the world, servers crashing, not servers, games. <sighs> <sighs> a lot of spit in my mouth, there's crashing. But, you know, it, was, it wasn't that, I didn't have the technical problems, so I don't have that big of a problem with it. And then they also had multiplayer in there, which you're like, alright cool, I didn't play it. Who the f wants to play a Batman game for multiplayer? Not me, not Greg Miller. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think that covers all of Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, hot Pepper Gaming gives this game four out of five hot peppers, and we give the Thai chili motherfuckers five out of five hot peppers. Make sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to Hot Pepper Gaming, and then check out Up at Noon every Monday on IGN after subscribing to my personal channel, Game Over Greggy. Until next time, I'm going back to bed after I drink this gallon of milk. Yeah! It was bad. You warned me.